Hello and welcome to this painting video where I'm going to show you how to turn these plastic models from the uh, Aliens board game into these painted examples that we've got here. Now these are the finished uh, products. I'm basically going to take you through all the stages that I got to get to these. It's very simple, very easy to do and took me about a day or so, uh, including drying times. First up, I primed the figures. I primed them in flat black. This was just with an airbrush. You don't really need to do this. You could paint straight onto that black plastic if you want, but I wanted something for the later uh, paints to stick to a little bit better. So I just did this myself. Very easy. And then I moved on to dry brushing Vallejo Field Blue onto these figures. To dry brush, get a flat, uh, f flat old brush and dip it into your paint and then wipe off as much as you can onto a towel or a cloth like I have there and then you go over the figure dragging the paint paintbrush over the grain of the figure just to pick up on all the bits and pieces of details it's a very simple easy technique dry brushing and it works perfectly on these figures because there's so many little lumps and bumps that you can see here and there everywhere so I did this uh, completely with the field blue I wanted a bluish color uh, kind of like a sheen off the lights from the uh, spaceships that they're on and then I went back after that and went in with Vallejo's intermediate blue and did exactly the same again but this was just a slightly lighter uh, quicker dry brush than previously so you're then building up at least three tones with the black and the two blues there on top of each other the only thing with dry brushing is it does leave a slightly chalky residue but we'll fix that in a bit then it was time to tackle the base. This I started with uh, Vallejo Oily Steel because these are on metal bases, or I'm supposed to be. Don't go into all the recesses, leave some of them black so it looks as though there's holes underneath and it's not a solid base. And also just painting as well, I didn't bother giving it two coats because I wanted some of the black of the base showing through as well to give a bit of tonal variation again. And I then covered the base in Flory uh, wash. Uh, this is rust colour. Uh, it's very bright when it goes on, but it dries really nicely and looks very rusty. But it still needs a bit more work. These are lovely washes, really good, well worth all all the money you can spend on them. You can see how the the uh, the wash has dried there. But what I did to bring the entire figure together, and as I say, get rid of some of that chalkiness of the dry brushing and also just to clean up the base is use Gaines Workshop's Nuln Oil just dab this on everywhere this will then sink into the recesses and just bring all your previous painting together finally it's time to varnish them and I use Windsor & Newton's professional artist matte spray make sure it's the professional stuff not the uh, general service stuff because uh, this is the best thing on the market and they were finished uh, this is all 16 of the aliens in the box it took me about a day to do them all there's a couple in there of different colours because they were the ones I tested first but I was happy enough uh, to settle with the final painting that I did and I've shown you in this video well thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please subscribe if you haven't already